everybody. We're here today at the CS50 Fair and I'm so excited to be talking with Isaac and William about their incredible final project. So I'll just kick things off and what is your final project and what was the inspiration behind it? Okay, so our final project is called Hebrew Reading Traditions. Um, and so first of all, I want to give a shout out to Caleb, who's our third crew member and he's not here right now because uh, he's on a different shift. But basically, the idea is that the Jews have been like a diaspora people, so living in a lot of different countries for quite a long time, about two, three thousand years, um, and living in a lot of different countries. So a lot of European countries, but also a lot of Middle Eastern and North African countries, which have historically received very little focus uh, in comparison. So what we've done uh, is we've created uh, an interactive map uh, and a website where you can basically click on any location in any city, um, and then it filters the data from that city. So these are audio recordings of how people used to read the Bible. Um, and the Bible is obviously read with different pronunciation and intonation in all these different countries. So we thought it would be a very uh, uh, meaningful experience that people were able to connect with what uh, the recordings used to sound like, especially since after the influx of immigration to Israel, the, um, the traditions all kind of uh, uh, amalgamated into a melting pot, sort of. So it's losing a lot of its individuality. Um, so that's that's essentially what the website is. It's a way to connect with what uh, the biblical readings used to sound like uh, a while ago. And then you can also filter through whichever aesthetic you want. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, and then you can also listen to the recordings, which we can't actually play because there's a lot of music here. But yeah, and it brings up the Bible verse that is read next to the recordings and gives the author the year and so forth. Well, this is incredibly impressive, especially this looks like it could have taken like months, let alone like weeks or even days. Um, and so I would love to hear like on that technical aspect, what would you all think was your favorite part of coding the website? And what do you think was the most infuriating problem that you ran into? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, the, the, the bit I worked on was the map. Uh, I think that was particularly annoying. Um, the issue we had was uh, sending data from JavaScript to Python and, and back again. Um, we found that particularly annoying. Uh, when we got it, it was very nice, obviously. Um, what was your favorite part of that? Um, honestly, I really liked styling the website a lot, um, which I found to be very, very rewarding. Um, because obviously, it's very fun to design the specific elements of the website, very challenging. Particularly, getting XML files with every book of the Bible into the specific uh, requirements of each, uh, each recording. Just fun, but I found that actually having a website reading uh, the, the images really, you know, allowed you to feel like you were doing something. You know, as cliche as that is, uh, so I enjoyed that part a lot. Yeah, well, that's absolutely incredible. Once again, y'all should be so so proud of this site, and would love to ask y'all where are you going from here beyond this project, beyond CS50. Um, okay, I can go. Um, I think. CS50, I used to want to be like a biomedical engineer concentrator, but honestly, I'm now leaning towards computer science um, and, and government, um, which I find to be a very interesting joint, uh, joint major, or joint concentration, I suppose I should say. Um, so yeah, that, that's where I'm going from here, I think. Um, yeah, very similar. I took this course um, just so I could have some background in CS50, in CS. Um, and now I'll probably do a secondary, maybe an a allied joint. Um, but definitely do more CS after this, yes. Incredible. Well, thank you all so much once again, and congratulations on your project. This is super impressive.